Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. All right, I'm in position. I have you in range. Okay, main building. Watch for vermin. Goddamn cigar. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh. Oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Uh huh. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. The cavalry's about to arrive! Main gate, <coughs> be ready! Pan Am, you're making a mistake. Another one. You're serious right now? Those devils wanted to know our location. If we drive to camp now, you'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. The 
Inside, quick! Uh, I need to catch my breath. They knew what state we're in. Not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Don't be mad, but I think Saul could be right. What? Why? Know how things work in Night City? Got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger Chumbas. You're talking about gangs. Principles are the same out here. Ought to remember that. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Oh, what was that about? Two haboobs. Yeah. Two haboobs. Now that packs octane. And? Think this is any better? No. Just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind. Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? Right. So, friends, then. I think that would be best. And V, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Uh, nope. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. But you're in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. 